child's imagination is a powerful thing. It helps them get through difficult times. It allows them to see what others cannot. Excuse me. May, may I stay here? I'm just waiting for an Uber. Sure. Mom, push me. Come on, push me. I'm busy. Leave me alone. My mother used to yell at me a lot, too. I just had so much energy and there's so much that I wanted to say that sometimes they would get sick of me and say things like, Hit the road, Jack, or shut up. You just shut the hell up? I had a friend, though. His name was Gabe. My mother said he was an imaginary friend and I should go out and find some real friends, but Gabe was real to me. He even helped keep me out of trouble. Hey, kid. Uh, your mom's not home. She told me I should come get you. Get in the car so I can come take you to her. Fred, that's not a good idea. You should keep walking. what I say? what I say? Hey, kid, didn't you hear me? That was a close one. That's what friends are for. When I was a teenager, I started dating a girl, Michelle. Gabe was just a memory by then, but I hadn't forgotten him. One day I was driving to Michelle's house to pick her up. But we were going to take in a movie. I was running late. I remember the accident and I remember seeing Gabe, but that's it. Next thing I know, it's four years later. Evidently, I had been in a coma. Everything changed. Michelle moved away and went off to college. She got herself a new boyfriend. When I left the hospital, I just went home and sat around for a long time. I was pretty depressed and, and was drinking and that's all I was doing. Eventually, I moved out of my parents' house and lived on the streets. I was homeless, begging for money, and drinking most of that away. Fred, how you seeing you like this? You're destroying yourself. Leave me alone. I hate you. Do something with your life. I can't. Go away. You're just my imagination messing with me. What's up, man? Hey, dude, what's going on? Come on, man, give me some. We didn't even check his pocket. Look, I got in there. Let's get out of my way! So Gabe wasn't just your imaginary friend. He was more than that. Yes, he was. Gabe handed me the bullet and said, You see a car with a flat tire. Offer to fix it. This is the end of the road for you and I, kid. You won't be seeing me again. So a moment later, I hear this bang. And there's this car with a flat tire. So I went over to offer my help. Need a hand? Yeah, um, sure. Freddy? Michelle? <laughs> mom, 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 look at me! Mom, look, mom! You're 
for being such a brat. Why don't you just go play? We found each other again after all this time. She was beautiful. I quit drinking. We got married. I never forgot about Gabe, though. Oh, that's my ride. You have a nice day, ma'am. Hey, kid. Hey, kid.